What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial video for you guys. I ran into a couple problems this week trying to benchmark uh, video games. Basically, there are a couple games I kind of was like, hey, I want to start benchmarking. One was uh, Google, or Google. Ha! <laughs> We're at Google. We're on Google Drive. We'll talk about that in a second. The first game was Gears of War Ultimate Edition, and that was because they unlocked not only the frame rate all the way, but they also went ahead and added an HD texture package, meaning that it is a good game to go ahead and benchmark for DirectX 12. It also scales very well. The next game was Doom, and Doom is because they just released the Vulkan API, and I wanted to be able to benchmark that. Well, come to find out, Fraps doesn't work for either one of those. Another problem is that even if you use the benchmarking tool or like the, I guess, uh, yeah, basically the benchmarking tool overlay in Doom, I mean, the numbers move so fast, especially when you're talking about those high frame rates, that you're not able to like visually do anything with that. You can't be like, oh, okay, I saw that it was running at 200 FPS and therefore, okay. No, it doesn't work like that. We need to get an average. We need some numbers and we need uh, some sort of spreadsheet. Well, luckily on GitHub, there is actually a project called Present Mon. And if you guys see here, I'm actually on my own personal Google Drive, and that's because Present Mon is going to, if you just download it, download a zip file like this, and it's going to give you these files. And nobody knows what to do with those files. Well, lots of people do, but not everybody, and it's kind of hard to work through. So, I, well, and this is not it either. Huh, huh, where's my, that was my guide. I, I did start trying to make a guide. This is screencast from it to show people how to do it. But I decided that I would just go ahead and create my own. But if you see in here, actually, if you, these are the files you would get. And then you would open them, you would open up the, the project file in Visual Studio and then you would have to build it out yourself. Well, I decided to make it a little easier for you guys, and I went ahead and compiled an installer, both an e executable uh, installer and a Microsoft software package installer. And I'll leave the link to that, which is this Google Drive, in the section below. Um, when you actually get to the drive, you'll just download it with the download button. And it'll download the zip file to your desktop or your downloads. Probably downloads for you. Once you get this, you're just going to right click it and extract all. I'm going to extract it to my desktop. And it'll open it right up. You'll double click in. You guys have to be on Windows 10 because it's DirectX 12. So there you go. And it, it has to be a 64-bit architecture because DirectX 12 doesn't work on 32-bit. So... Keep that in mind. But here you'll see they actually have the setup files ready for, for you all. This is the uh, Windows installer, so the .msi extension. And this is the executable. I'm going to recommend just going through the executable, but first go ahead and check this out. I made a quick little readme for you guys. Um, and actually, I want to open this with... Let me see if I have it. Open with... Uh, WordPad's better. I don't have the other one, but this is a readable version. I, I usually use Noplaid++, but this system has a fresh install of Windows, as we're also using this system for some other benchmarking. But uh, here we go. We got the deal. This actually comes from a guy called Game Tech Dev. In the install, I went ahead and gave him credit all over that. And the source for the source files is in the readme here. And, of course, shameless self-promotion because I compiled this installer. So you'll see here, I do have basic instructions, run setup.exe, installer will put shortcut on your desktop, blah, 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 blah. And then here are your console commands. Keep these in mind. The readme where, is where you're gonna find all those. Double click your setup and press run. Next. You can do just me or everyone. Keep this in mind right here. You can change where you're gonna install it. I'm going to leave it to standard so we can get to it really easily and you guys can follow the tutorial. And we're going to install it right there under the program files x86. And close. Once it installs, I actually had it and built it to where it's just going to automatically put 
both uh, present mon, mon, present mon, present mon on your desktop and this run present uh, mon dot bat. This is going to be the easy run for you guys. All you have to do is run my installer and then to benchmark a game, you're just going to double click the bat file and it'll pop up. Now I'll show you guys an example of how it works. Let's go to a YouTube video. I know a really cool guy that I like to watch. He's had some hard times getting some more content, regular content, but here we go. So if we pull that up and then we enable our scroll lock key. So scroll lock is going to be your hotkey. It's going to go ahead and capture the application that is displaying your frame rate. And you'll see here that we have the frame rate, uh, the displayed frame rate, and the milliseconds, the latency, and all of that good info. So if you want to just stop, you're just going to hit scroll lock again. It's going to leave this up, but you see the numbers have stopped. So whenever you want to start, you enable scroll lock. Whenever you want to stop, you disable scroll lock. Yep, it's that easy. So, once you've done that, you say, well, what the heck? I thought you said we would have numbers to look at. You do. Okay, so we know how to capture it and all that cool stuff. Let's talk about how we can actually see what the frame rates are. You're going to want to go and navigate to where the application is installed, which by default is going to be uh, program files x86 game tech dev present mon and then you'll have all these files in here we're gonna you're gonna want to open it with a spreadsheet you can also use like uh, the Google spreadsheet on Google Docs if you don't have Excel I do happen to have Excel because I'm not a scrub and it's very useful and one of the best still one of the best uh, spreadsheet deals we can you can get right now the cell that we're or the row that we're going to want to be looking at or the the, the, the ah, yeah the column we're going to want to be looking at is this k ms between presence and we're going to be looking at this number right here your frame rate is going to be 1000 divided by ms between presence so then you're just going to come over to your calculator go 1000 divided by 16.254 right there uh yeah 16 oops can't type 1000 divided by 16.2 equals so we know that our frame rate was 61.72 fps and we know that that's true because as you guys saw earlier when we were capturing the youtube video project mon console was displaying that it was around 60 fps now you say i have all that but i need to know the average well we can find the average the average is going to just need to use a quick little function boop boop we're going to hit average here for this cell. And I mean, the way I like to do is just copy. Just click them. Just click them. We'll say OK. So we now know that our average is 16.7, which is awesome. So now all we have to do is go back to our calculator and clear this out and go 1000 divided by. 16.7 and we know that our average frame rate during that YouTube extravaganza video watching escapade was 59.8 FPS and that fellas is how you not only install present mon easily but you also benchmark and you go ahead and as well determine what your average FPS was. Now, if you want minimum FPS, I mean, that's pretty easy. You can just sort these uh, by, you know, from highest to lowest and you can get your high, highest frame rate and your lowest frame rate. 
It's a great tool. If you guys want to figure out what any of the rest of these are, please go do the research on your own. I feel like this is about as much as I'm willing to do for you all. It took me like a couple hours just to compile the installer, and I hope it helps you all. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next Tuesday.